everybody! Today I'm going to show you how I made my mosaic pictures. Here is the picture that inspired me to want to make these pictures. If you noticed, in the bottom corner of that picture, they used real seashells, and I absolutely loved that idea. And that is what inspired me to come up with doing mosaic pictures to go along with that picture. So what I came up with was things from the sea, and I picked a seashell and a seahorse. And I actually got all the materials for this project at the dollar store. Another thing that is awesome about this project is the kids will absolutely love doing this. Okay, now let me show you what you will need for this project. This is a paper craft kit that I got at the Dollar Tree and I thought that it would be a great frame for my project because it's really light, but you could use cardboard or uh, even a canvas if you wanted to. I'm going to use some matches. Um, I have a couple shells that I want to integrate into one of them. And I'm using lots of beads. I got these at the Dollar Tree too. Um, I'm also going to paint. And I, you could also use uh, puffy paint. That would be pretty cool. And I got tacky glue. But with this project you could use whatever materials that you have sticks or stones or tiles or whatever. So let's get started. The first step is to paint your cardboard or canvas to the color you would like for your background. I picked the color blue and I used a paper bag under my picture to protect my table from getting paint on it. Let's make our seashell first. For inspiration I got ideas online for the shape of the seashell that I wanted to use for my picture. I decided that I wanted to use my two seashells for the bottom of my clamshell design. So I used them as my starting point for drawing the shell with a pencil. Now I freehand the basic design of the shell. Once I think the outline looks good, I place my shells on the picture to see if the shell I drew is centered. I had to add a little more to my drawing to center it. Now it is time to add the glue one section at a time. I carefully add the beads to each section of the shell. I use different shapes and colors to make it glimmer and sparkle in the light. I decided to alternate a row of beads and then a row of burnt matchsticks to create the design of my seashell. Use your imagination and creativity for the materials you will use for your picture to make it unique and beautiful. The last thing I do is glue my seashells onto my picture and set it aside so it will dry. Let's make a seahorse. Like my seashell, I use the internet to give me ideas on what I would like my seahorse to look like. Now I freehand the seahorse onto my picture with a pencil. I use my glue to break my seahorse into sections and work on only one section at a time. I carefully pick the beads to make my seahorse colorful. I used flat seashell beads for the belly of the seahorse. I thought it would give it a great textured look. I used a green shell for the seahorse's eye. See how I do one small section at a time? This makes it easy. Now I put the finishing touches onto my seahorse. I gave them bubbles. On this picture, when I got done with putting all my beads on and it dried, I went around his little head with a darker color of paint and that way it made it pop out even more. This is a totally awesome project. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching me make my mosaics today and I hope it inspires you to give it a try too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! I want you to give me Miley Cyrus impression. I came in like a <laughs> so nice to sit out here on our little bench, a cup of coffee. 
fire going. I'm gonna take my jacket off because it's nice and warm out here in the sun. Ah, oh, feels so good. Oh, I love springtime. <laughs> That's what I didn't want to do. <laughs> there he is, stuck in the fire. <laughs> 